Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm playing Taiji. This is a large puzzle game that took one man eight years to make. It is probably my most hyped game of all time. I love puzzle games and I'm unbelievably excited for this one. Despite my hype, I've managed to stay spoiler free. I don't even really know what the controls are. I click on a panel, press space bar, and I move around. To be honest, I think I just freed myself from like transportation. All I know is this. I know the game's tagline, which is this is an open world puzzle game inspired by The Witness. And I assume it means deducing stuff in the environment and solving puzzles based off that. I see you, Tetris piece. Was oh, that wrong? Oh, you know what it is. It's just I wasn't pressing spacebar. I understand. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like I said, I don't know the controls, but either way, this should be a world of wonder and mystery, and I'm excited to see what secrets it may hold, what kind of crazy puzzles we have in mind. So, again, I see a little Tetris piece down below, space bar, brings the lands together. But the bridge isn't quite connected, but it doesn't matter, I can go over the top. It feels like there's actually probably a lot of ways to orient these islands. This one's got a black uh, Tetris piece, so I bet... You gotta hit everything but those, create negative space. I expect to use a lot of different types of logic. I expect to use uh, a lot of, uh, of my duction skills. Again, this is negative space. So I send that, and now we got the wires opening doors, classic Witness fashion. A uh, fun fact, the creator of the Witness actually play tested this game, and he is also very happy about it. So, I mean, he's a hard guy to please, so I'm very excited to see it because of this. Okay, it looks like I can only start at the start of the wire chain. I see those Tetris pieces right there. I assume that's what I'll be referencing. This is 4x4. Four four. It's also 4x4. Four four. So you just fill in the white, leave in the black. However, there's not really a Tetris piece visible for this next panel, I wonder if I have to use the environment. I'm looking at the white flowers over on the side. And I'm looking at the stairs that are on themselves. Can you kind of see? I'm on like a 4x4 four four grid right now that would fill in, well, I guess exactly the same white piece as the last time. Unless if these two count. And they actually probably do. Maybe these don't count then because they're not that flowery and white? Maybe these don't count because they're not pure white? Technically, I can move past this. Oh, and maybe just this is the solution right here. Dude, I was totally seeing... I mean, I'm just looking to the environment. It totally looks like I'm on a 4x4 grid, but maybe I'm looking way too into it. And it's just two elbow macaroni pieces. Although, this isn't the exact grid as above. Now, this is wrong too. Well, oh, interesting. This shape or whatever also kind of mirrors the the grass on the rock it's standing on. But there's also two additional grass pieces. So I have the two elbow macaronis that match up with this, and then two additional pieces. That's the puzzle. What is the deal that with this area I'm standing on? And that that's right. There's got to be something to that. I bet I'm going to like return to it in the future and totally be like, how did I not see this? And again, we have the blocks here coinciding with the environment to the side. So I bet the environment gives the actual solution. Just the black and white blocks give me a little bit of a lead towards it. So this is correct. There's not a wire leading out of it. Maybe it just means I've solved the section and now there's more to do. What, I can't walk through these bushes? I guess I gotta respect the environment around me. What is the deal with this dashed line? Can I press it? I actually can't select it. The only one of these four that doesn't involve a white square on the bottom right is this one. But what do I do about the others? Oh wait, no, this this time I can draw. So I was trying to get this bottom left one. What if I try a different one? What if I try a different one again? Okay, so second is this one here. Now I can't activate this block in the middle, so it's got to be the corners one. Oh wait, no, it's automatically lit up. I didn't even notice that. It's locked into that, so this one has to then be the corners one. Oh, I see. So I was probably supposed to look at all of them before deducing this one. I just figured each one of them would be a solution. Alright, the music's picking up a little. I should continue up the stairs. It seems that the game wants me to feel and learn. And here we are. Welcome to the mainland. What the hell is this? This feels like a hub sort of denoting maybe the different rules, different styles of stuff. And if I've unlocked everything, I can go into this big door into the rock. 
So let's explore. Let's check out what this is, this waterfall. And now we're seeing more colors to the land. I mean, this is, this is awesome. On my way back up, I learned I can sprint. Maybe up here I'll find some stuff. Oh, we're very far up here. Damn, we are going up, up, up. What is this? Four cells, four cells. I also wanted to check out, what is this? Interesting. There's two symbols on here. One that looks like this, and the other one's like a spiral? Well, this was correct. This almost feels like it's a bit of a map, and it has two pillars, so this is probably, in fact, a tutorial area. Okay, so let's figure these out. I could light all these up. That's wrong. What about none? None is correct. And for this, how about all? All is correct. So maybe they have to combine to create a full set? So none again? No. Oh, I see. The pillars have like this sort of column on the side. This has no column. This has all the column. Like look at the blue. The walls are thicker here. So here we just light up two. And on this one, we light up the three, where the protrusions are. All right, that's the rule. This one has a slightly degrading column on the right side. And this one, I assume they still all combine to make a full set of five. That's what I'm working with. This, yeah, this lights up and then we get all these. I'm pretty sure they combine to a full set of five. In I go. Wires going over the fences, love it. The two of these, that's correct, so then the other ones. I think this is testing to see if I actually understand that they combine to make a full set. Because there is nothing at the top indicating that there would be uh, a button press there if you were just going off the sides. So these two, and then these three, and then the other three. There we go, another gate opened. Now we shall continue. Oh, this is a two by four. So now it shows you can have like unmatching sides of the columns. And that refers to its own row. Right side columns refer to right side of the panel. Left side columns refer to left side on the panel. Wait a second. I think this still got to add up. It feels like this is almost reversed. Oh, maybe that's because this time you just go by the visual indicators. Was it really just the coincidence? Or maybe these just work differently because they're two by fours. They don't have to add up to a complete sum. Or maybe just the fact that there were two in each row combined between the two panels. Interesting, there are now protrusions on top. And I don't know, on the left side, maybe? Oh, these are toppled pillars. That's what's going on. These used to be upright. So we have to deduce what has what. So these two are obviously filled in. Then how can I find out which are the bottom ones or technically right side ones? Well, if my theory of just having the correct number per row, which is now a column, has any water, let's see. That would mean I have two in the first column. I have one in the second column. We can make that two. Yeah, I'm going to go through with my insane idea here. And that first column satisfied, second column needs one, third column also needs one, fourth column needs two, and fifth column needs one, and then, hold on, this wouldn't work, okay. Yeah, the idea was too insane to work. No, I shouldn't be uh, guessing and checking. I feel like there's some merit to my idea, but I haven't, like, perfected it. I think there's a reason why we're capable of solving this puzzle right now, and that's maybe to glean information. So. <laughs> the left side is solved, even though the pillar's toppled over. I can see that there's like three protrusions on the left side, and possibly a full slab on the right. So then this pillar, it seems like it topples over to the right. So that would mean these two have not been used in this. But what about the right side? Like, would this make any sense? The only other idea is like somehow it's been turned around. It has been turned around! This is the bottom! How on earth did it get in this position? So yeah, this is the bottom, this is the left side. These two line up with these two, because this obviously just fell forward. And what's up with this? Am I gonna get shocked if I step on it? No, it's just nothing happens. It is solved for what it's worth. What do I gleam from these pillars? It almost feels like I have to use the leftmost pillar to help me solve this right pillar. I'm just trying to figure out where the protrusions are. It seems there's one in row two, one in row three, two in 
row four, one in row five, and probably one in the bottom row. I bet it's these. Damn. Wait, am I supposed to use the right side over here to help me at all? Well, something interesting, the right side does seem to have a spot for a one column pillar, and then a spot for a two column pillar. This just refers to this. And the one column pillar fell down here. This is the two color column, this is the one column. I use this to help me figure it out. So everything that isn't in this column is in this column. So there is a protrusion in the fifth column, so there's not one here. Nothing in the fourth, nothing in the third, possibly in the second, nothing in the first. Oh my god. There's always a solution. Just trust the game. The game knows best. So I can see two protrusions here. I don't know if this is a protrusion. It kind of looks like it's more in the background. I don't know if this is a protrusion or the base of the one column. I'm inclined to say protrusion. So here's what I'm gonna do. There's nothing in the fourth columns. This is for sure good. This is for sure good. Nothing in the first, sorry, rows. The only one I'm unsure of is this. So I'll take two guesses and they're both wrong. What if I come back to this puzzle? I totally forgot I hadn't solved it yet. Yeah, maybe there's something I have to learn here that I have to apply in the above part. Well, hold on. There was something here that maybe I should have learned. Are the two wide pillars supposed to be like horizontally flipped? Because technically, we don't have each of these squares filled in, each of these eight. We have this square and this square filled in twice. So the only way for it to have each square filled in once is if one of these is horizontally flipped. So maybe I have to apply that logic to here. So we actually do see all of the sides. It's just one is horizontally flipped. And is there a way to know? Let's say for no reason at all, left is correct, right is flipped. So for right, we would actually know these two for sure. And then we could fill in the other row of what's missing from here. That's wrong. Question, what if I assume the left one is flipped? The left one is flipped! So that means we actually have here, here, and here, along with these three. Son of a- what? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, I physically flipped them. I'm supposed to just mentally flip them. So it would be like this. Yes! I wonder if there's a better way to express this. Because I guess if you flip either one, you would then have all of the cells flipped in, or filled in. So either way, I got to apply that to this now. I'll flip the rows of this pillar, I suppose, or horizontally flip it, so I guess flip the columns. So this is still not filled in, this is still not filled in, this should be here, possibly here. Oh my god, the flip rule! I understand it now, it all makes sense. What is this orange thing right here? I don't know, but we got a complete pillar? Yeah, this is a singular, oh. Single four by five, but we have some protrusions here, protrusion here, protrusion here, protrusion here, but so what? I think it would be silly to assume that each of these extend too wide. I think I have to work with the flip rule somehow. So then this column is missing these three. So what if I fill in these three here, and then this column is missing these two, so what if I fill in these two here? That's just right. It's beautiful. I've lit a fire. Cool. I want to see where this line goes. Hopefully I can follow it. Yeah, if I just go up these stairs, loop around, and check out down here, I can follow it. Oh my god, it's a giant tall pillar. You are massive. So I fill in this, fill in these, but it keeps going up. <laughs> this thing is massive. It even looks like it could keep going. Like, the idea that comes to mind is a vertical flip, but I don't want to try to make that work. Plus the tower is 11 high. That's an odd number. Doesn't evenly split in two. I'm gonna look around a little. <gasps> hey, there's the pillar. Glad I looked around. Hold on, is this meant to be the opposite or the same as this one? It looks like it's the same. So it appears that the top three are filled in. Wait, something's not right. My pillar looks taller than this pillar. So I got the one, I've got the two, and then three. Looks like in total there's nine segments to this. Maybe this is one, three, four? I could see it actually. Yeah, I could totally see one, three, four. Yeah. Well, that would be wrong, so clearly not. I think I just have to do the inverse of this. So bottom two, a gap of one, and then a gap of two. Hold up though. My panel is 11 high. How do I make this out to be 11 high? 
I guess some of the pillar could still be in the water, but I can kind of see a figure of the base. Yeah, the columns don't appear to be the same size. In fact, just going off of landmarks, this one is straight up taller. This one extends to about here, and this one only extends to about here. The fact that the heights of both of these pillars don't actually line up leads me to believe there's actually something hidden underwater. And what I'm looking at here isn't the base, but maybe just a weird shadow or possibly some sort of mechanism to lift more of the pillar out of the water. So I bet I actually gotta go back to the lake and maybe get some of the pillar out of here. Wouldn't that be funny? Either way, it's an excuse to try out another area. Oh, hey, returning here, I've got this glowed up. They kind of look like puzzle pieces. But I guess I could lit one of the fires. And this middle seems to be like progress. If I get five of them lit, something happens. And maybe another four lit, another something happens. I probably was meant to actually start by going this way. Because <laughs> walking in here, this stuff almost looks familiar. Maybe this is a more beginner friendly area. Like, what's this? There's a one. Okay, let's draw like this. That's correct. So you can almost think of this like Tetris pieces from The Witness. These are one pieces. So I have to just isolate each of these one dots in sections of size of one. The section could be positive or negative space. Because if for some reason I'd filled this in, it would be wrong because this is now connected to a section of six. But this is correct and a funny little bridge popped out. I like that, how that looks. All right, we're learning how the little domino pieces work. Yeah, so there's two ones next to each other, but in this way, they are both in sections of one. So this section of one, section of one. Oh, but look, I have two ones next to each other. So this can't be filled in. So it has to be isolated in negative space, which means this must also be isolated in negative space. And now we're talking. That should be correct. Does it actually form a bridge? Uh, I can't walk diagonally. Maybe I am meant to form a bridge. I'm gonna solve this though first. I, I bet I gotta do it in a way that forms a bridge. This looks uh, reasonable. So at least correct. These have to be not filled in. I like that, unselectable areas. And then these are isol- No, the those aren't isolated. See, this is what I wanna do with this. Wait, this is correct? Maybe it's not about the size of the section. Maybe it, what? Hold up, would something like this work? It does. So maybe it's not about it being a, a one. But maybe it's just about it being its own section. So a dot cell can't share a section with a non-dot cell. So I have to isolate this. Whoops, isolate this. Have to isolate this, isolate this. Then what gives with this section? Well, what's gonna go wrong here? This is gonna be upset, of course. And now this is gonna be upset. Isolate these sections. Well, I guess this works. So the only adjacencies I care about are the horizontal and vertical adjacencies. A cell with a dot cannot have be, be the same as something above it or to the side of it. Now I want to make a bridge, though. So I know that I can do this now. But I think I actually need to make a bridge on, like, negative space. Like this. And then just block these off. Aha! And now I can walk across. Well, what lies here? This is a pressable... What on earth? R to restart? Reset. Hold on, that looks confusing. Let's take a look at this. This is a two. Does it still need to be its own thing? Maybe a two size thing? So a two allows for me to have one additional cell. The two basically covers for this empty one. Yeah, and this like has you draw the line by walking. That one I will tackle later. Let's maybe head into the dojo here. Seems like there's a lot of puzzles to learn. Oh yeah, this is like an easier version of that. So I must walk and create a path that works. Like this. Aha! Walk and create another path that works. Just two size. Size of two. This looks like it can be solved in exactly the same way as the previous one. This one's gonna be a little different. Oh, interesting, okay, I have to do a continuous path when I walk. I can't like double back. 
So I bet I could combine the two twos into a section of four, like this. I would be right. And I bet I could do it again. Whoa! I walked wrong. I probably don't need to reset like this, but it works out. Yeah, two sections of four. A lot of visualizing. I think I again need the S piece. Do we think that like shape matters? Cause this is technically two sections of four. The shape does not matter. It in fact just cares about the number. So yeah, there's four dots so I can have a section of four, which is why when I had two individual dots, I could combine them. Well, I mean, this is all the same. You just take the number of dots. That's the size of the section that I can have. And now the rules are actually becoming more verbally clear. What if I just walk a section of size 10? So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's valid. Sweet, what's out here? Blue dot and a yellow dot. I can see the flowers off in the distance. Maybe just keep them separated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep the different colors separated. Good old segregation puzzles. Who doesn't love those from the witness? And I assume this is more of the same. It is. Oh, but again, I should probably form a bridge. So let's mark the blue instead of the yellow. Can walk here. And then, is this the same puzzle? It is, now I can do a bridge with the yellow. Nice. So I'll do this puzzle, a section of four. Well, so I could have this be a section of four, and then to make this one a section of four, I could have a blocker here, which works. I could have a section of three and then two blockers to complete the section of four. Section of four, section of two. I have a section of two and then three blockers to make a section of four. I can have a section of four and then a blocker to make a section of one. Multiple sections, this adds up to nine. So a section of three and a section of two making a section of five with two sections of two, neat. How about this one? Okay, gotta get to the center somehow. Well, five by five is 25. Well, so this is a section of five and these just add up to a section of 20, but that's not a bridge. I should make a bridge. Let's go to the panel. This is getting me places though. I could go to the left. I think I'll just go with the flow. Section of five, sections of four. Well, okay, so I can do a big connecting path, but that doesn't add up. That's a bad number. Yeah, but these fours don't add up. I need 12? I need 12 and I have 16, so I just need to block off four spaces. So block off one, two, three, four. There we go. How about this one? Oh, the possibility of going up. Well, this makes five. This makes nine. That's not right. This makes 10. And I have a section of five. And then this section of five needs a boundary, but that makes this into a section of 12. I'm gonna get rid of these. This is nine. Also nine. Then I can draw a section of five here. Oh, but this doesn't quite add up. I can do this. Okay, section of five, section of five, section of nine. How do I make 10? 10. Ah! Loving this right now. Some lanterns. Oh, hey, it's the uh, door nearby this area. And there's an underground minecart area. What are these? These are probably like negative dots because six plus four is 10. So these, it has to be minus two in order to fit in a three by three. So this is probably, this probably counts as four, but this counts as four and then this creates a section of four. Yeah, so the, so the empty dots are negative space. So six and three, I feel like I got to make a section of three containing them, but don't know how. Like this and then section of four, there we go. Negative like space of four, so a section of two. And then how do I get my section of four now? Like this, of course, this space doesn't matter. Hmm, two things of negative space. Well, I can do a section of five here and then this is a section of three. Six, six, minus three, minus three. Well, positive six should certainly grab this. This is of three and then this is also of three. Nice, what about you? Two sections of gold and six. Does this add up to 12 around the edge? It does, and the insides do add up to four. Six minus two, two gold threes. Well, this looks right. Two sections of five, two sections of three. 
And now they're all gold. I could do a section of four. Section of four. I don't like that. What if I combine like this? This make a section of seven. Four plus four minus one is seven. Three plus three minus one is five. So now I have a section of five. Cool. What is this? Just tons of panels. I'm loving the amount of puzzles here. Sections of one, I got a space of negative two. How do you figure? Actually, how does this work? I never did learn if like different colors can go together. And now it seems they, they cannot because both this and this were unhappy. I don't even know what to do with the top right. I'm just trying to figure out the bottom left right now. Like, let's say these two are in a group. Okay, group of two, awesome. So I can't have this be positive space because these two will still be unhappy. But if this were negative space, then I would need both of these to be filled in, which would make the two unhappy. What if the two and the negative two just simply cancel out? And it doesn't matter how much space they're in because they it just pretends that they don't exist. Yeah, it becomes a zero and zero means there could be any amount. That makes sense. So these cancel out, these cancel out. Actually, got these cancel out, there we go. Just have everything cancel out. So two negative ones. Oh, and I could have just all these cancel out, becomes zero. Again, have everything cancel out, all becomes zero. Are there an equal number? There are an equal number. Why don't I just have everything cancel out? Just cancel it all out, it's beautiful. I have nine and then three. So do I want a group of six? I mean, I guess I could do two groups of six. Not like shape needs to be preserved. This is negative seven, positive nine, positive nine, three, three, and two negative sevens. What does that even add up to? Eight? No, 10. Well, these add up to five. So I could just do two sections of five, break it up into two. That's an N. This is nothing. Just saw the letter there. I'm like, hold up. Is it trying to tell me something? Positive nine, four positive ones, and then nine negative ones. Well, why don't I just hit everything except for the ones? Cancel out the nine and just leave these in their own world? Okay, where's that lead? Oh, uh, one thing I wanted to look at over here. Yeah, so this has the same red wire that I dealt with earlier, but also it's a panel that I'm not quite familiar with. Unless if it's as simple as separating these, which it isn't. I don't think I'm going to brute force it because something tells me I'm not meant to be here. But these are absolutely different from what I'm used to. Interesting. So maybe red wire is some sort of late game thing. So I probably was right to walk away from the other thing. And I can't return here until I understand those diamonds better. Oh, I can just walk out here. Oh, nice. And this... Uh Let's me mark off a different section that I'm in. Working on the map further. I should probably get this section instead of just dancing around it. Okay, let's connect everything. This looks kind of tricky. I would like to go straight. Section of three, section of two, section of five. Oh, wait, this is, well, this is correct, but it does nothing. Likewise, this is also correct, but still does nothing. What if I make a bridge going from here to here instead of from this starting point across. I can make a turn. Yeah, maybe maybe that's part of it. Something that almost bends more like this. Yeah, and this section adds up to 10, so I'm probably onto something. This is just correct. Okay, let's loop back. Bring me over and this will probably bring me out. Oh, oh nice. And this is a negative space one. So my positives add up to 25, and my negatives add up to... 20? I guess I suppose I could do this. <laughs> That's actually really easy, wow. Did I ever solve this then? Well, I can. You know what I actually want to do though first? I want to double back to this area, because this area looks kind of easy. And I think I was meant to do this before doing the rest. Yeah, this is supposed to introduce me to colors. I just skipped over this. Because I could figure it out on my own. So again, just make sure they're each in section size of one. This can be a section, make it a section. And now we got a ton of different colors. I suppose I could just do a pattern like this with no complaints. Does this even take me anywhere? 
No, but it probably does connect to that bridge that I was just about to make. I do have to go this way. I gotta light up the yellow wire first. So I'm kind of thinking about this in terms of a bridge. Where exactly do I get off on the right side? How on earth do I want to do this? Well, this is seven and this is eight. So, oh, it is just bridgeable. It's easily bridgeable, not even a question. This is four, this is four. Solving these puzzles. This is all stuff that I definitely know. This one actually looks a little tough though. I'm not sure which I want to be positive space, which I want to be negative space. I think these two would have to be positive space. Yeah, a bunch of T pieces. Let's see, all this adds up to 24, which is the same size as the carriage. Okay. So positive space, positive space, positive space, positive space, perfect. This adds up to 21, which is the same size as the board. So I can have this be positive, this be positive, and this five be positive, and everything looks good. Oh, is this my way out? It is, but I did see that the light lit up in this dojo and all I had to do is just make a bridge that bends to the left or to the right. So it's definitely got to be a negative space bridge. No, how would it be a negative space bridge? It doesn't make any sense. This is an issue because this only would have four. Oh, duh. Reset. <laughs> You're like this. That's just how it's done. So now I need to get onto this bridge. And is it as easy as making a left bend? It is not. That does not add up. But I suppose this would work. I don't know how I get down there yet. I don't know what that area is down there, but I feel like I should be able to get there. First, I gotta draw this back. Yeah, it really looks like I should be able to get there. Draw this and then walk around. And redraw this. How did I get here? It's just the dojo. The back of the dojo. Oh, yeah. And look, while I'm here, anything around the side? Nope, just a pillar. Damn you. I mean, it has the red wire next to it. Clearly, there's more that needs to be known, but this was a cool little solution. And now these are just boss puzzles. I must defeat the great puzzle boss. First stuff, what does this add to? Five, 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 25. So every single cell is involved somehow. So I could have a connected section of 12. This is 14, isn't it? I guess I could get rid of this and that would work. Section of seven and then two, 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 12. This has everything add up to 24. So there's one that's not included. I'm guessing that one is gonna be the centerpiece. This has everything add up to 12. So there's a lot that's not included here. How about I focus on the twos first? How do I want them? to be surrounded. Maybe something like this. The six has to be filled in. Can't let that slide. So maybe I could do something more like this. That's five. How do I get to six? This adds up to four. And this adds up to six. There we go. Upstairs, is that where I light the lantern? Possibly. Is this a puzzle? It probably is. Oh, here's the puzzle. More waterfalls. Waterfalls are so pretty. So this five has to be negative space. Actually, what does everything add up to? 10, 20, 36, which is the size of the whole grid. Let's see, section of 12, does that add up? This is 13. Okay, so I just do two tens. Oh, this has to be part of the sixes actually. Like this, nice. And now I've lit up the flame. Let's go. What is the deal with these lanterns? Because that's a five. Dude, I don't know, but a section complete feels pretty good. I've completed two sections now. Oh, this is my way back. Thank you for making it easy for me. Well, holy crap, this game is incredible so far. I love puzzles, man. I'm so excited to see what else this has in store. Stay tuned. More Taiji coming soon. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and peace.